Hi, Steve Gale here. In this video, what we're hoping to do is to um, to install a uh, sketch onto the Arduino Yun, which enables us to um, to read analog and digital values, and uh, to using the bridge to upload those values to um, a MySQL database via HTTP and JSON REST calls. So, what I'm going to do first of all, I've connected the Yun to um, to my local network. And um, I'm just going to log into the YUN. So we'll log into the YUN. And you can see that um, we're um, wired Ethernet connected. And we've got an address of 192.168.217.6. And the YUN here is Steve's YUN. OK, so if we just go back to... Um, Previously, um, we had these um, these uh, PHP um, scripts. Now, the script that we're going to use is, now is this one, insert yun iot json rest data. So let's just have a quick look at that. Um, insert iot json rest data one. So we'll just um, edit that into, uh, note, into um, NetBeans. Now I'm just going to change the username to... Um, to Yun, and the uh, Yun's password is password one, and the database we're using is uh, Steve's Yun IOTDB. So basically, how this code is going to work is, is first of all, it's going to create a connection, and um, it's going to connect using the server name, which is localhost, the username Yun, the password, and to the database Steve's Yun IOTDB. And uh, if it's an issue with the connection, then the um, it'll die, and it'll print out an error, a connection error. But uh, assuming all is good, what we're going to do is we're going to set up an array for the, uh, a response array. But um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the um, to the file, the file get contents PHP input. Now what that does is that gets the um, the input post data, which comes to this um, PHP script, and um, it'll then pass it to this function called JSON decode which will then decode the uh, post data as a JSON as JSON data and return it into an array which we're calling dollar JSON so or an object which is dollar JSON now now what we're going to do here is see if this dollar JSON is not equal to null in other words there's JSON data has been received by the um, PHP post and uh, if so, we're going to um, we're going to grab the elements of that data in JSON from the JSON format and put those into into variables. So we're going to grab the um, the yun, which is um, we're going to call that the device. So that will become our device. We're going to grab the um, the d1 field of the uh, JSON data, and we're going to put that into a variable called digital one. And we're going to grab the A0 field of the JSON data and we're going to put that into a, um, a variable called analog0. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use these variables to construct a SQL insert query for MySQL database. So we're going to say insert into the YUN data table. We're going to insert the YUN name, the digital input and the analog input. And the values we're going to use are dollar $device, in other words the YUN that we're using. Uh, dollar digital one, which is the digital one data that we receive from uh, the JSON data, and dollar analog zero, which is the analog zero channel data that we've received from the um, from the JSON call. So then we're going to run MySQL I query. So we're going to run the query against the um, against the connection. So against our connection, and we're going to run the SQL command. And uh, if it's successful then we're going to return a response code of 1 and a response message to say successfully stored and we're going to echo that in JSON encoded format so the response is going to be encoded into um, JSON format. If there was an issue, in other words the, the query couldn't be completed then we get to this else and we're going to respond with a code equals 2 and we're going to, the message will be uh, the MySQL I error that we received and we'll also encode that as JSON. Now, if we had no JSON data, in other words, this all happened. This, if all of this happened, if the um, the JSON 
data was available. If there was no JSON data, in other words, else down here, we'll just echo JSON data error, and then finally we'll uh, close we'll close the um, close the connection and free up all of the resources. Um, the JSON decode. Um, there's just a little bit of um, extra coding in here in this JSON decode function, which um, if there's an issue with magic quotes, it'll deal with it, and it strips the slashes off the string, and um, then returns the JSON decoded string back to here. So that's the um, JSON decode that happens there. Okay, so that's our code. So the way this code is used is this code is this PHP code is called from a um, from a, from a um, a yarn script, sorry a yarn sketch. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring up that sketch, and this is the sketch here. Um, okay, so I'll run through this fairly quickly. This is the sketch. Um, we're going to include bridge.h, so we're going to use the Arduino bridge, and specifically the yarn client on the bridge. So we've got our server now. Before when we looked at the um, the Arduino. We saw that the Arduino YUN's address was 217.6, 192.168.217.6. The server address is the address of the um, the WAMP server. So what we need to do is we need to run an IP config slash all and find the IP address of the WAMP server. The IP address of the WAMP server is 192.168.217.3. Okay, so let's make that 217.3. That's our WAMP server address, 192.168.217.3. Our table name is Yundata. We're going to create an instance of our Yun client. We're going to set up a character buffer, 64 characters. And send request is what's doing the work. There's a separate video that goes through this in a lot more detail, so I'll just breeze through this. But basically what we've got is we've got an ADC value, which is an integer, value between 0 and 1024. So we're going to say if client.connect, so we're going to use the young client, and we're going to use client.connect, and we're going to... Ah, sorry. If client.connect server on port 80 so we want to connect to 217.3 on port 80 which is our WAMP server and um, what we want to do then is we want to create um, our post data to yun rest insert yun iot json rest data 1.php so let's just have a quick look and check if that's correct so we've got insert yun iot json rest data 1.php and that's in yun rest the yun rest subfolder so yun rest insert yun iot json rest data 1.php yep that looks all good then we're going to specify the host which is our server content type json then we're going to format into um, into a buffer, this character buffer, 64 character buffer, we're going to format using sprintf um, the JSON call, so this is our JSON and we're going to say yun, the yun is Steve's yun digital 1, we'll just give it a value of 0 because we're just testing analog 0, but we're going to use percent %d to specify the ADC value of the analog 0 then we provide the content length and to get the content length we use string length of the buffer, in other words how, how many characters are in this buffer, get the string length, output that to the client, and then a print line, then we'll print the buffer as the request body, in other words the JSON post data, and then we're done. Okay, so we'll just um, compile this. Compiling's good. Okay, so we'll upload the sketch. Now the thing to notice about this sketch is that it does use um, serial.println to tell us what's going on. So what we can do is we can follow the sketch. Uh, it says Arduino yarn on COM3. We'll just check, um, I just didn't check that, but um, port COM3. Arduino yarn, yep, that's on COM3, that's good. So I'll just run the uh, serial monitor. And here we see some data coming up. So this is looking good. Um, and we've got a response, HTTP 1.1200 OK. 
So this is telling me it's sending data 344 is our analog to digital value, where the host is 192.168.2173, content type application JSON, content length is 51. Here's our JSON data. And when we get a response of HTTP 1.1200 OK, we know things are just doing just fine. So that looks like it's working quite well. So let's just skip over and look at these values. So we've got 344, 344. So if we go and then go back to here and uh, go back to our um, display YUN IoT table data, we should see some 344s. And we do. So that looks like it's working 